Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I'm going to go over cryptocurrency market, Bitcoin, and uh, probably Ethereum too, but and the NASDAQ, NDX, NDQ, NASDAQ futures on here, and weekly algorithm, which all this makes a little bit more sense to me, guys. You know, this is, uh, it's in a third wave, and this is going to go up. Looks like it wants to break all-time highs, guys. Unfortunately, the place to be for the past, I don't know, eight or nine months was in tech stocks. Not crypto, not crypto. Crypto is not participating, not at a bullish sense like it is over here. So unfortunately, be willing to, willing to admit that that was my mistake. I thought that uh, crypto was going to participate, figured it would go along. I think crypto is actually going along with the uh, the traditional financial markets, particularly tech stocks. As you can see on that uh, algorithm, it's kind of doing a predictive uh, thing right there. It's going out to March or April. I'm going to hear for Bitcoin, October, February, March. About the same area for Bitcoin, and that's looking like uh, forty-three to $48,000 uh, hit on Bitcoin. Now, the question you may have in your mind is, why am I saying to sell altcoins? I don't, guys, it just doesn't seem like the altcoins want to participate, okay? Here's uh, Ethereum on the uh, five-day chart. So the area I'm looking at here for Ethereum, guys, is that there's a good shot. I'm looking at this green box for a target. 21 and up to 23 and then getting up to 2400 tagging the supply zone guys um you know all i can say guys is weakness coming into the altcoin market um contrary to what you hear on the youtubes and on crypto twitter and everybody buying altcoins it's not true they're not doing it they may say that they are but they're not the charts are telling me that they're not. Now, there might be a few stragglers here and there that are buying some stuff, but the charts are telling me that the market participants are exiting altcoins, okay? Period, all right? End of story. I know some of you probably don't want to hear that, but it's true. Charts are telling you that, guys. Um, indicator, but maybe somewhere along the line, if Bitcoin's going to be making its run, well, let's put it, to, let's put, let's go like this. Let's say Bitcoin is going to do what? 30, let's say uh, up to 40, 36%, right? 36%. You're looking at best case scenario. Um, Ethereum isn't even making it as much as Bitcoin probably, guys. So if you see that right there, about 32% is what I would say is probably a hit. Look into this box. And then once Ethereum is up in this area, I think uh, it's definitely going to be time to exit, guys. So um this, this whole thing down here, I'm going to go with what it is with uh, Bitcoin. I think what it did is this whole thing right here is your one. This is your two. This ended up being the three. This third wave is actually a little bit longer than this wave. It's on logarithmic. You just can't really tell right now. And it's came over to fourth wave and then maybe something something like that, guys. Okay. And all coins. Now, there, there will be some all coins that pump. Okay. But it's going to be a few stragglers. XRP looks like it wants to pump. Um, Stellar Lumens looks like it wants to pump. There's some other coins out there that look like they want to pump. Actually, Matic a little bit. Um, maybe Solana are the ones I can think off the top of my head, guys. But to try to get into a pump on an altcoin is obviously if you have the skill to find them, then, hey, by all means, do it. Um, you are taking a lot of risk because... The deal is, is that a lot of those altcoins are not going to pump, okay? So you might end up in one that, you know, your best case scenario, it just goes sideways. You don't lose any money or you minimize your risk on that, that end of it. Now, uh, on a 10-day chart, man, I'm looking down here at the algos. I have algos set up on Ethereum here um, down at the bottom too. And this, this down here is saying that uh, this algorithm, this is a PPM 200. It is saying that Ethereum is just going to be grinding more or less up till possibly January, kind of like Bitcoin, guys. So that kind of makes sense that I think that this is possibly a fifth wave. So it's just going to be a fifth wave grind. 
Um, now, is Ethereum making a corrective move right here? Boom, boom, boom. I, you notice that I have the um, the Fibonacci extension on there, and that is a one-to-one -one on logarithmic. Uh, on linear, the one-to-one -one goes right to the box. Um, can there be a hit to 1.618? Um, there could. There could. If it had strength behind it and it was whizzing like a real crypto, I would say, yeah, there's a shot. There's a shot that it could do that, guys. But I'm not planning for that. I'm not planning for massive moves in uh, Ethereum. I think Ethereum's going to tag along behind and do less returns uh, or equal or to less returns than uh, Bitcoin, guys, um, for the most part. And this is this is coming up more than likely to the end of something right here, guys. Now, is this going to be corrective here and then it's correcting up here and it's going into a, a corrective trend over here? Don't know. Don't know yet. I have no idea. I don't want to go into it. But uh, all I can say is that this this is the current trend. And then when the trend comes to an end, you want to exit so you don't participate in that. Right. OK. If you're in uh, longs with Ethereum, guys. So I mentioned this on Twitter. I was talking about this a little bit more. And, uh, you know, all the uh, all the. The, the news events, the news media, everything that's going on. Now, granted, I could be wrong. Maybe you think that I'm a fool and um, this is all going to do a moonshot out of there. And maybe it will. Maybe it will. I mean, I hope so. Don't get me wrong, man. I mean, I hope this just starts blasting up. But this the data is is not there, guys. It's just it's not there. Um, not not what I'm seeing at all. It's just it's just not. OK. But the media and everything, you know, here's the move and then. There's going to be more and more news media. Hey, this is a bull run. Um, and it could be the start of a bull run. Don't get me wrong. This is the new bull run. The thing is, is there's going to be a pretty pretty severe correction, guys. You know, at least something like this. You know, you're looking at 40 or 50% drop over here, I would assume. And more uh, events, news things, pieces like, hey, all this money is coming into crypto. And... $30 trillion or whatever else is going to come on. I can guarantee you that uh, with the NASDAQ going up, going to be trending up and it's coming to the end of its trend. It's got a few more months to go, obviously. Right. But it's just, it's going to start grinding. It's going to do a fifth wave grind up and uh, Ethereum and Bitcoin more likely will too. In the meantime, with that grind up at the end of the fifth wave, that's where you get all your, uh, let's go back to Bitcoin over here, guys. Right. Let me take all this uh, this data off, okay? And um, oh, excuse me. Take all this data off on Bitcoin, right? So where was all the positive news the last time on Bitcoin? Right here, right? So go back to common sense. Let's just assume, let's assume for the time being that Bitcoin will have this. Where will all the positive news be again? It's already started a little bit right here, and it's going to accelerate. It's going to accelerate huge, okay? The same thing, guys. Same thing. News events, and then boom. Positive, you know, negative news. Remember? Negative news, negative news, negative news, negative news. Negative news negative, negative, negative. Now it's positive, 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 positive. You see how the markets work now? Positive? Take them out, okay? That's how it works, guys. And we'll stay ahead of the game, at least on the long term time frame uh, perspective of something like that with the uh, with any of the markets. It's going to be the same thing with the. Uh, let me go. Here's the uh, NDQs, guys. Right. What was all the news events? Negative, 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 going to zero, going to zero, going to zero. Now it's starting to flip a little bit, guys, flip a little bit here, a little bit more there. And it's going to be all like this right here. Positive news, positive news, positive, positive news. Buy in before it's too late. And then boom. That's how it works, guys. If you made it all the way to the end, do me a huge favor. Drop a like. Hit the subscribe button. Peace.